actually in Olympia, Washington. An employee at a Taco Bell was recently fired for masturbating into a bean burrito. I know you've been done stuff on like pranks and you know sabotage in a workplace. Do you have any examples of like food examples like that of stuff happening or you've come across in your travels? Well the famous one is the person who put nude playing cards in boxes of Cracker Jack who was never caught and there was another one where... The G.I. Joe thing? I don't know that one. Where they changed, they put G.I. Joe and like Barbie or something like that? They did that in department stores. I was thinking of disgruntled employees at the factory. Oh yeah, more and, factory uh, stuff. One of my favorites, which I think I talk about in the Pranks book, is when all of a sudden, simultaneously, all over the country, there were reports that restaurants who ordered their fortune cookies from the largest Chinese fortune cookie company were complaining about people opening them up and getting not obscene, but really negative fortunes. Like, you're, you know, you're a really bad person person and everybody at your table hates you and stuff like that and somebody had gone a lot of work to put apparently thousands of these in fortune cookies and the company just attributed it to the quote-unquote disgruntled employee General, I was looking at these photos by photographer Bev Davies of you, and this one I found particularly interesting because if you look really closely on your arm, your arm is shaved to match your shirt. Oh, I didn't realize it would look, match the shirt, too. Look really close. Do you see a little your arm shave? Oh, yeah. You, to weird people out in the era of Mohawks, I used to uh, shave a barber pole into one of my arms and my chest into an upside-down cross. And I haven't seen you perform in a long time, Jello, and just seeing you is amazing. Where did you come up with all the neat facial gestures and kind of miming and stuff? It's incredible. Was it inspired by the screamers? Because what you were doing there, has that progressed since the Dead Kennedys? Is there any new stuff you were throwing in there? Well, I don't plan that stuff. It just happens. And uh, I could probably do it a lot better if I actually rehearsed in front of the mirror as much as the singer for the makers does. And <laughs> that's not a diss on Michael. He's a good friend of mine. And he does, he's a very, very good performer in his own way. And a lot of those, maybe if there was any big influence on the facial expressions, it predates the screamers and goes back to a weekly TV show by a very, very good comedian by the name of Red Skelton. I think that was that was the the secret influence I didn't realize for years. You know, I really like performers who really work and put out and add something to mend it. And I thought, wait a minute. There's not just bits of Iggy sprinkled in all this. After all, I'm not very athletically coordinated, but uh, you cross Iggy and Red Skelton only with somebody who can't do either very well, then it better be funny. So uh, I guess that's what I do. The yuppie SUV gestures were incredible. Like, were you like mimicking us being on a cell phone there and driving at the same time? And running over a bunch of kids. Could you demonstrate that this quickly for the camera, Jello? This quickly. Remember it. Let me see. Just uh, well, the name of the song is Yuppie Cadillac. You know, like the modern grandpa car, the gas guzzler equivalent of the old giant sedan is the SUV. And most people who buy them buy them specifically because they're expensive and eat a lot of gas. And aren't we cool that we're sending American troops to go get blown up in Iraq just so we can drive gigantic cars that uh, are often too large to even fit down a European street? And some of your gestures were, wasn't it? Like, what was that? Oh, for no, you do them first. I want to see you try to recreate them. Well, it was something like... <laughs> something like that. I mean, I can come nowhere close, Jello. God damn. Um, well, I, I, need, I need room to move here for this. Uh, I think that the, the male driver was the first verse. So he was more... <laughs> And then the second verse was more like the, uh, you know, what they call the soccer mom or the, uh, you know, the, 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 or, or what Frank Zappa calls the yuppie parents and their artifact children. You know, just driving by, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, they're great big for you till you can't control talking on the phone. Oh, oh, just ran over some kids. Oh, well, oh. I guess that was it. All right, keep on rocking the free world and do, 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 do. Do do hey I rock the unfree world. That's my specialty. I'm from America, remember? Alright, well keep on rocking the free world and do 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 loot do. Do do. Anything else you like to say to the people out there at all Jello Biafra? I'm glad this interview's over. Well thanks so much. Keep on rocking the free world and do 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 loot do. <coughs> well thanks so much, Jello Biafra. Keep on rocking the free world and do 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 loot do. Quack quack.
Thanks very much, Jello Biafra. Really appreciate the time. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 kaboom. Jello Biafra, we're almost out of tape. Do 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 do.